So question is a very interesting question. A particle is projected so as to just pass through three equal rings of diameter d which are placed in parallel vertical plane at distance a apart with their height highest point at a height h above the point of projection prove that the angle of elevation of projection is given as tangent inverse 2 square root of h multiplied by d divided by a so in this question it's very interesting one but it's entirely based on the equation of trajectory so first of all it is given that it consists of three rings so let us draw three rings first second and third and suppose this is the plane of projection and the projectile is projected in this way such that it passes through point A of the first ring point B of the second ring and point C of the third ring the distance between the two rings horizontal distance is given as A D is as the diameter of each ring and the highest point is given as H so this is the basic information so we are going to use the equation of trajectory for the projectile equation of the trajectory for the projectile it is given as y is equal to x tangent of alpha minus 1 by 2 g x square divided by u square cos square of alpha where alpha is the angle of projection and u is the initial velocity with which it is projected so we can further write this equation as x tangent of alpha one half g x square u square secant square alpha this will be y and from the figure it is clear that all these three points a b and c lie on the path of the trajectory so it means all these three points should be satisfying this equation of the trajectory so you can see that three points a comma b comma and c lie on the equation of trajectory right rather we can say lie on the trajectory path so it must or rather they must satisfy the equation of trajectory so let's find out the coordinates of all these points so the coordinate of a is given as x a comma y a coordinate of b is given as x b comma y b and coordinate of c is given as x c comma y c you can see that x a will be equal to x and y a will be equal to h minus d x b will be equal to x plus a 
and by B will be equal to H and for C that is XC will be equal to X plus 2A and by C will be equal to H minus D sorry YA yeah that's correct so all these points should be satisfying the equation of trajectory so we can write for point A we get this as H minus T is equal to X tangent of alpha minus half gx square divided by u square one plus tangent square alpha. Let this be question number one. For point B, we can write this equation as h is equal to h is equal to x plus a tangent alpha minus half g u square x plus a whole square 1 plus tangent square alpha let this be equation number 2 and for equation number 3 sorry for point 3 rather point C we can write this as h minus t is equal to x plus 2a tangent of alpha minus half g u square x plus 2a whole square 1 plus tangent square alpha let this be equation number 3 now we are going to manipulate these three equations subtracting equation number 1 from equation number 2 subtracting equation 1 from equation 2 we will get this as d is equal to a tan alpha minus g 1 plus tangent square alpha divided by u u square and this will be x square plus 2xa plus a square minus x square x square cancel with x square so we are left with d is equal to a tangent of alpha minus g 1 plus tan square alpha divided by 2u square and this is left with 2ax plus a square so we can further solve it and we can write this as 2xa g 1 plus tangent square alpha divided by 2u square is equal to a tangent alpha minus t minus g 1 plus tan square alpha divided by 2u square multiplied by a square let us call this equation number 4 Next, subtracting equation 1 
form equation 3 we get 0 is equal to 2a tan alpha minus g 1 plus tangent square alpha divided by 2u square and we get this as x square plus 4xa plus 4a square minus x square x square cancel out with x square we get this as 0 is equal to 2a tangent alpha minus g 1 plus tan square alpha divided by 2u square and the 4xa plus 4a square we bring this part into the left side so we are left with we it will be giving us 4ax g 1 plus tangent square alpha divided by 2u square is equal to 2a tan alpha minus g 1 plus tan square alpha divided by 2u square multiply by 4a square so taking 2 as common from here this will become 2 this cancels out and this will become 2 also so we will get this as 2xa g 1 plus tangent square alpha divided by 2u square is equal to a tan alpha minus g 1 plus tangent square alpha divided by 2u square multiplied by 2a square let's speak question number 5 so in equation number 4 as well 5 our left hand side is same so we can equate the right hand side also so we can write that from equation 4 and equation 5 we get this as a tan alpha minus d minus g 1 plus tan square alpha divided by 2 u square into a square is equal to a tan alpha minus g 1 plus tan square alpha divided by 2 u square into 2 a square so this cancel out with this so from here we can write this as minus t is equal to g 1 plus tangent square alpha divided by 2u square into a square and minus or rather we can take this as common so this will be a square minus 2a square so we will be left with minus t is equal to g 1 plus tangent square alpha divided by 2u square into minus of a square minus of minus cancels out so this will be coming as d is equal to g 2u square 1 plus tangent square alpha and multiply by a square so we can further sort it out so we can write this as 1 plus tangent square alpha is equal to 2u square divided by g multiplied by d divided by a square 
okay we also know that the height of the projectile is given as h which is equal to u square divided by 2g sin square alpha so from this we can write this as u square upon g is equal to 2h upon sin square alpha or okay so we are going to write this equation as 1 plus tan n square alpha is nothing but secant square alpha is equal to 2 square g d upon a square and secant square is nothing but 1 upon cos square so we can write this as 1 upon cos square alpha is equal to 2u square g d upon a square And u square upon g is given as 2h sin square alpha. So here we can put it as if this will be 2 u square upon g is 2h divided by sin square alpha d upon a square. So taking sin square on the right side, you get sin square alpha divided by cos square alpha is equal to 4h d upon a square so this will be coming as tangent square alpha is equal to 4h d upon a square or tangent of alpha is equal to 2 square root of h d divided by a and alpha is equal to tangent inverse of 2 upon a h d this is the angle of the projection thank you